Hello everyone, it's Mel. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia. Thanks for coming to my YouTube channel. It's nice to have you here. Um, I'm not making anything today. I just want to show you guys how I store my Stampin' Blends. And this idea came from my upline, Johanna. So, thank you, Johanna. And this is how I keep them. I know they're standing like that, which is how they shouldn't be, but when I sit them, they sit like this, so that they're all laying down like that, if you can see. I'll just stand them for now. It's not how I store them, but just so that you can see. Um, as you can see, I've taken a Sharpie to them, and I've just put DCC, so that's Dark Calypso Coral, CL Colour Lifter, and I've just labelled them to make it a little bit easier for me. Um, and what I have done to make this is I've used five of our acetate boxes. You could use four of them. Um, the reason I used five of them was because I wanted to stand them like this, but I also wanted to sit them like that. So if I'm sitting them like that, all I have to do is rotate my Stampin' Blends to sit that way. But at the moment I've got them that way, and so I can easily get to them when I had done them originally in four of the acetate boxes. And when they sit this way, so they're like that, it gets a little squishy to get your fingers in. So my partner said just do five boxes, so that's what I did. I did five boxes, wrote on them so I know what they are. You, um, Before you put them together, let me quickly show you. I've just cut off, and this depends on you, you can cut off more so that the acetate boxes go a little bit below the markers, so the markers sit up. Um, mine are all pretty level with the markers, but like I said, I can get my fingers in, I can get them up really easy, and when they sit in like this, it's so easy. Um, okay, so what I did is I've lined up this with my trimmer and I've cut off this piece because you only want one of the bottoms to put together. So just go with your four or five, whatever, it's up to you guys, and just trim off across here, okay? And then you would put your box together, get your um, fast fuse, run some fast fuse on your acetate boxes, put your box on top. I put my Stampin' Blends in when I'm doing that, just so it's got a bit of sturdiness. So you just fast fuse all of your boxes together. Um, it can get a little bit wobbly, but this paper helps to stabilise it. So this is old, retired... Um, Coastal Cabana, it was from our 2013 to 15 in colours, and this is some ruffle ribbon that's also retired, and because it's my personal use, I'm not too fussed if it's retired or not, and I'm addicted to this ruffle ribbon. I've got, I think, two rolls of each colour that I could get. I really like it. So that's all you do. You just fast fuse your acetate boxes together, fast fuse your paper onto it, um, the reason I didn't dress it up anymore with decorations was because I want to sit them either this way or I want to sit them this way. So I want that versatility when I'm working with my markers. So there you go. Just a really easy way to hold your stamp and blends. All right. Thanks for being here. I hope you like this idea. It's not my original, um, but it is very, very good, and it's a very cheap, effective way to keep your blenders. Okay, take care, you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.